And we're back. Fucking time to play more Star Wars Dark Souls Edition. Oh boy. Alright, so someone said on the video that went up today, or yesterday, that there's actually something that makes my. There's actually a droid upgrade hidden in here somewhere. So I want to find that. Because I really don't want to go fight that goat right now. Because that goat is fucking horrifying. Uh, so... Oh! Droid said a thing. Oh. What'd you find, little droid? My friend. Oh, shit. In since I left Bagano, I've uncovered more about the Zepho than I once believed possible. Uh... Okay, you wanna tell me what that is, Chief? Uh, uh this planet, their homeworld, has the revelations. But many years of a Oh, I already done this. Yeah, so that that one didn't break before. It just fucking no, it just straight up just was like, nah. It's locked down. Just straight up like no, nah, like when you pick it up, it only plays like the first fucking three lines. You gotta go into the pause menu to open it. Uh, oh, what's down here? Oh! Oh, that's death! Good to know! It's well lit and there's a platform down there, but no, that's death. Oh, that one... I don't know about that one, Chief. That, that looked a little sus. Uh, alright, yeah, but... There is, apparently, a droid upgrade in here somewhere. And I imagine I need a different wall run. <laughs> I have the wall run sideways, but I need the wall run up to do that one. Or a double jump, maybe. Oh, boy. Oh! Right. Shit. I, I looked away for, like, a second. To make sure I had a drink. And it's like, oh, wait, no, there is a gap there. Yeah, but no, is there... no... Did I open that chest? I, I think I opened that chest. Yeet. Yeah, I did! I swear I did! I, I guess maybe the save point wasn't... Yeah, I did get the cop. Okay, yeah, so the save point didn't save me dying. Well, okay, well, at least I don't have to go fight that goat. And I know that that thing's gonna pop out and yeet that stormtrooper into the goddamn moon. Yet, yeah, I don't know what that person was talking about. I'm not finding a, a droid upgrade in here. Like, I mean, lights are on, so I can actually have a good look around, but. Yeet. Oh, okay, this is. Okay, so I imagine there will be a, a wall run at some point, but. Let's just have a peek around. And I should probably save also. Because I just realized that because it didn't save my death, I've also not got all of my Estus right now. So, did it open this door? No, door's locked from the other side still. Okay. I mean, I mean, I you know what, I kind of expected that, but yeah, it's fine. I, I really think I could go down there. Like, it's got, like, platforms and lights, like... Am I gonna wind up there later, I wonder? Alright, well... Use the bonfire. Hit that... Hit that sick rest. And... Ideally, should be able to kill that goat now. It, it's just a goat. Like it's straight up. Like I, like I like I. It's not even. I'm gonna have to like scan it when it's. If I just scan it and it's like it's a goat, because it's not. It's it's a ram. It's just got like big curved horns going back and headbutt shit, and it's ornery as hell. Like like that's a goat, chief. Alright. Yeah, just yeet! Alright. 
go. Ah! Alright. Should have seen that coming. Oh, and I only have two all right. For some reason, I thought I had three Estas. Yeet. Okay. Cool. Yeet. Alright. That looks like a problem. Yep, it's a big dumb goat! Yee! Ow! Oh wait, no, it's a calf hound! But like, way more goat-like instead of... Ow! Yee! Throw it. Give me the drugs! Oh, I just slice his horn clean off. Oh, scan it! Scan it before it dies! <sighs> Philak. When provoked, a Philak's low vision makes it difficult to change course, often crashing into rocks when charging. Philak coups adapt to keep them steady mountain passes, making them resistant to the push and pull of Zephyr's high winds. Philaks are massful climbers who move with ease on mountain paths. Solitary by nature, they leave their mother's side early to find their own territory. The horns on their head are their greatest weapon. The two, when two Philax clash, the sound thunders across mountains. As they age, their horns they grow, adding a new ring for each Damn, so these things live for a pretty long time, then. Shit, alright. I wish I could just pick this up and be like, Oh, I'm, I know an ivory trader on Nar Shada who'll love this. Oh, boy. Alright, um... I want to like just double check my skill tree real quick. Okay. Like, I haven't really found much use for the for the dash kick, you know. What's my objective? Seek the eye of the storm. I imagine hopefully this will loop back around. Cause I'm really. Wait, did I miss a door? I missed a door. Damn it! I'm gonna have to go through that door later. I'm gonna have to go through that. Hey, dum dum. I walked into the door. Oh damn. Hey, bud. Ah. Oh, uh, you know what? I'll give you that one. That one was a gift. Man, I wish I had force push. I really wish I had force push. I could just go <laughs> and just yeet that back at him. Manipulate and deflect projectiles using the force. Trooper will reload after firing, providing time to close the distance and strike. Rocket tr launcher troopers are specialized stormtroopers serving the Galactic Empire's campaign over the galaxy. The deadly soldier armed with an RPS-6 smart rocket launcher. A long-range weapon is incredibly difficult to deflect. Trained to eliminate insurgent activity, diminish uprisings, and quell dissent. Lord Vader, there appears to be a riot happening on Alderaan. However shall we deal with it? Send the fuckers with RPGs. I'm done with this. Jesus, Darth. Fuck. Oh, boy. Yeah, okay. Okay. So for, for people that are watching the uh, actual Let's Play, that should be completely fucking seamless, but... I don't know what's up with, with Chrome late. Oh, shit, I did that too late. I don't know what's going on with Chrome lately, man. Like, for some reason, Google Chrome, it's just, like, it's always been incredibly fucking thirsty for memory. It, but, like, re recently, Chrome has just been getting worse and worse on that shit. Oh, fuck. Um, this is not doable. It. Okay, I gotta get that shit when it's up. It. Oh, that's two up. How about this? Yes. And yeet. Woo! Okay. And I am almost dead from just fall damage. Um, so my force is gonna recharge, right? Oh, come on on that! Oh, that one was bullshit. Come on, Cal. You could have grabbed that. You could have grabbed that, Chief. Come on now. Oh, shit. That's too far. But... Yeet. 
Yeet. And double plus extra yeet. Okay. Hey, BD1. Just checking on you. Oh, I could have a little banter with my boy. Yeah, I can say hi to my droid. Just making sure he's still there. Yeah. Hey, buds. How you doing? What was that? What's up? Oh man, that guy's got armor that takes more than one bullet. Damn, son. Okay, yo, normally I don't I try not to like just throw big shit at chat while I'm doing LP stuff, but this one's actually pretty good. Max. Max says, Imagine if the third person camera is just a force ghost watching the MC giving sarcastic commentary only they can hear. Like, when I missed the ledge and said, Oh, come on! You could have grabbed onto it. Like, you know what? Nah. That is now, canonically, every third-person camera, f like, Star Wars game, the ca we're just playing as a Force ghost who's talking mad shit about the protagonist the whole time. Puts a whole new fucking spin on Let's Plays. Holy fuck. Idiot. Idiot. Oh, I was going for the style points. I was going for the style points on that. Come on, chief. And it wasn't and there wasn't a meditation circle either. So I got to go all the way back now. Oh. That one hurts. That one fucking hurts. Like this is this really has just big Big Dark Souls energy sometimes. It's just like, oh man, I'm getting through here. Like, I'm, I'm a little bit low on health, but it's too far to go back to the bonfire. So, you know, like, I'm I'm hoping I can get, get this done until I can find an Estus recovery or something else to heal me. It's like, nah. Okay, you. You. Ah! I'm good! What? Chief. Some of this platforming, like, just... Oh, come on, cow. Okay, get past, this. get past the goat. Like, I mean, this slow motion shit... Like, that's just the best for this. Hey, Chuckle Nuts! What's up, bud? Jesus! Okay, that one's a dick move. That one was just... That one was just dickish. Alright, come on. I hit the... He used the... He used the force on the wrong one. I was trying to use the force on the missile that was coming at me and reflect the laser. Game said no, so I'm pretty sure I've just lost all my souls. Which means I need to go and kill everything on my way up again. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, let's see, how much... Yeah, I've... Oh wait, I had a skill... I, I got a skill point, I lost nothing. I, I, I had... I, I managed to get a skill point before I died before, so I lost nothing. Oh, that's a good feeling. Um, can I get this? Chief, Chief, I want this. Uh, why can't I get it? Why, why can't I? Is it because I'm on a pipe? Oh, wait, no, right. I had to be at the meditation sir. My... So I've been playing too many fucking games. I've been playing too many fucking like games. I just my brain just was like, oh yeah, no, bonfire level up. My it completely forgot that. Oh god. And yeah, I was like, I was trying to use the force slow on the uh Come on. Come on, dum dum. 
I was trying to use the force slow on the rocket and deflect the blaster bolt. So that way I could just deflect the laser, kill the stormtrooper with the laser beam, and then and whichever one was left, I could just go over and just stab to death. All right, go. No. Stupid goat! Stupid goat! Stop it! Toss me stem, Drugs, please. Okay. See, fucking look at that glowy asshole. He's like, uh, yeah, I killed the Jedi. Let's <laughs> did he just kill his own boys? Don't let him get you. I think he did. All right. No. No. Ah. Okay, no, you're gonna slow down that reload there, Chief. Hey, and if I kill them when... Okay, so... I guess sometimes dying in an engagement is actually useful, because it refills your health if you kill the guy who killed you. That puts a little bit of a morbid meta on this. Just like... Yeah, no, if, you're, if you feel like you're gonna have trouble with an encounter... Or there's an enemy you don't know about. Just let one of the mooks just kill you. Oh shit. Just let one of the mooks kill you and... Just go from there. Just, you know, use that as a free full heal if you need it. That's actually pretty neat. I like, I like that idea. I like that concept. If that's... If that's the intent, at least. Alright, there's the temple or something I gotta go for. All right, Chocolate Fox. He's gonna kill us all, yep. Fucking Jedi are monsters. Doing okay back there, BD1? Horrible, god fucking, godless killing machines. I didn't even realize this door was here. Uh, commands enemy stormtroopers, allowing focus to synchronize line fire on targets, equipped with grenades. Stormtrooper commanders lead the battalion to the combat for the Galactic Empire. Recruited from countless systems, they have been trained to support the oppressive power of the Imperial War Machine. Fuck you, the Empire is not an oppressive regime. It literally ended the slave trade in the Outer Rim. Something that the Republic did not do, even though they had plenty of fucking chance to. In fact, slavery in the Mid-Rim was ended by Sheev fucking Palpatine. Emperor goddamn Palpatine ended the fucking slave trade in the mid-rim. Think about that. Uh, they, they, the strategy and proficiency with an array of weapons allowed them to coordinate attacks, command group maneuvers, and launch deadly stuff. I mean, yes, Palpatine probably did it in order to get brownie points that he could use to become senator and later chancellor, but still the man ended slavery, for fuck's sake! Okay, cool, and we have this little door here, so I... I'm gonna actually go back to the bonfire real quick. God, I was, I was, I just, I, there was a... Shortcut right there, and I was just too stupid. I, I need to, like, internalize. I need to internalize the concept of, like, check all door. Maybe door good. Maybe, maybe door good thing. Might be good to have door. Fucking the Empire did nothing wrong. Give me a Star Wars game where I can play as the Empire that doesn't involve mandatory kitten stomping. Now, yeah, some people in the Empire were not great. But a lot of people in the Republic were not great. A lot of people in the Rebellion were not great either. It's almost as if every single regime in any fucking sci-fi thing is not all good guys and all bad guys, huh? I'd like to point out that in the Extended Universe, at least, uh, due to the Empire banning slavery, the planet of Ryloth, the the home planet of the tw of the Twi'leks, became an economic fucking powerhouse. In Disney canon, probably not so much. Oh hey, yeah, these guys come back. No. Come 
Come on, Chuck the fuck! Oh, I wish I could just stab that guy. I wish I could just stab that guy. I want, I'm, go, I'm going back for them. I'm going I'm going back for those guys. Hey, fuckers! I could have just let you live, but I'm a Jedi, which means I'm a godless killing machine. Alright. Ah, shit! Okay, alright, rocket launcher man. Did not see you coming. Like, yeah, like, if you weren't in the Empire, it kind of blew. And, you know, it's like... Like, oh man, fucking... Like, there's heavy tariffs, but it's like... You're not part of the Empire. The Empire's entire goal is putting its own citizens first. So if you don't want to be part of that citizenry and you want to deal with the Empire, yes, you're going to face harsher tariffs. You're going to face harsher uh, penalties for going against Empire interests. But if you were part of the Empire, it's a pretty sweet fucking deal. Hey, buddies. I'll drop you. No, you won't. How many times have we done this, Chief? It's just me, then. Okay, come on. Man, I'm, I'm really fucking up the parries on these scout troopers today. There we go. Alright, I got him. Okay, so this, can I smash this? I can't push it. Why not? What the f force push is like the first thing Jedi learn, Chief. Wait, yo, hold up. In Disney canon, Ryloth is Space Vietnam, with the Empire being the US and Tweelegs are the Viet Cong. F fuck that! Like, okay. Star Wars history lesson. So Ryloth fucking sucks. Its rot its rotationary period is so slow that half the planet is essentially in perpetual like Ryloth's planet completes a single day in like every fucking like thousand or so years. Right? That's how fucking long the days are on that planet. Um so half of Ryloth is completely sunblasted and awful and the other half is pitch fucking black and cold as a fucking witch's tit. Um, so the, the Twi'leks, all of their cities are underground. And all of the surface stuff for the Twi'leks, like their spaceports and, like, surface cities and, uh, like, basically connections to the outside galaxy, are all in what's called the Twilight Area. Basically. Like, essentially, it's an area of complete and total Twilight. And that is, like, the, where the surface of, of Ryloth is. You can go out into the super cold area, but there's really fucking dangerous predators there. Or you can go into the sunblasted area, where there's a lot of mineral wealth, but it's a constant day with pitch, bla pitch fucking sandblasted desert. That's what Ryloth was in Legends. Like, of course, Ryloth changed a lot in Legends. Because, like, you know, Ryloth is, like, one of the first planets they ever fi they ever decided to put in. But, like, Ryloth was really big. And the idea was that, like, it's where a lot of spice came from. Which is where the sandblasted... Which is where, a lot of, like, a lot of the sandblasted stuff... It's basically Dune, essentially. Like, that's where a lot of the, the, where a lot of the spice comes from. Um... Fucking, uh... Oh, boy. So, like... Where, so, like, all of the fucking slavery happening on Ryloth is due to desperate Twi'leks selling themselves or others out into slavery, which cripples their economy because a lot of their able-bodied labor and breeding females, ironically enough, wind up off-planet on Nalhata, Narshada, fucking Tatooine, wherever they could be traded as chattel. So, uh, Ryloth is very, very poor. Until the Empire comes around and fucking bans slavery. And what do you know, a lot of fucking Twi'leks come home, and Ryloth becomes a massive trade center, and a massive tourist destination, because everybody wants that fucking tentacle pussy. Everybody wants Twi'lek pussy. Like, no exceptions. 
So they get a lot of tourism. Which means they get to sell a lot of spice that is grown on their home planet in the sandblasted area. Because they're making more money, they can make spice mining more fucking safe. Which means Ryloth becomes literally a gem of the Empire. It's why a lot of Twi'leks didn't want the Empire to fall because they thought it would go back to how the Republic was, where so much of their species was in fucking chains, which meant their planet was a fucking backwater slum. Like, fuck, dude. Ugh. Like, if I was a Twi'lek, I wouldn't want the Empire to fall either. Like, there were, of course, Twi'leks who didn't, who didn't like the Empire. There's no, no, no such thing as, like, a, a, a species that is in, entirely for or against the Empire. But there were a lot of Twi'leks who were like, No, dude, this is great! This is perfect! What the fuck are you talking about? I think the only thing the Twi'leks had issue with is that... Um... Is that spice trade was heavily regulated. What the... F okay, so that guy is just... Yeah, I don't like that guy. How the fuck am I gonna do? How the fuck can I deflect that? Shielded, heavy long range, rapid fire weapon capable of sustaining numerous hits. Slow movement, long wind up before firing, and cooldown period after attack provides opportunities to attack. The heavy assault troopers are specialized infantry serving the Galactic Empire on the front lines of the war. They're primarily trained to defend combat zones and support squads of stormtrooper patrols. They're highly proficient in the Z6 rotary blaster cannon, which requires a rapid, steady, rapid, long range burst capable of inflicting heavy damage and shielded by a low emitter energy ray. Okay. Yeah, like, fuck, dude, fuck Disney Cannon. Fuck Disney Cannon with a fucking ri- Oh, right, I rested. Right, so those guys are back. And I can't open that door. Fuck Disney Cannon with a goddamn rake. And there is... Is that the ice that came down? No. What's that over there? What is, what is that over there? Shit, there's multiple ways to go, but... I cannot get over there because I can't double jump. So I imagine I'm maybe gonna learn double jump soon? Like, dude, I, like, uh, straight up, like, I'm hopefully gonna be able to play a D&D &D game. Shit. A D&D &D game soon that's going to be, well, D I say D&D, &D, tabletop. That's going to be Star Wars. And, what is this? Is this, oh, this is Tanya. Oh, shit. Shit, fuck. Tanya's just pe peeking in here. Hold up. How long has she been there? Oh, wait, no, that's not Tanya. That's the sun. That's the sun. Fucking goddamn sun, chief. Yeah, so that energy, I, I can't reflect blaster bolt back at him because he's gone. You won't get me. Oh, hey! <laughs> fucking, oh yeah, and fucking, yeah, most bounty hunters use slug throwers because Jedi's, so here's a fun thing. Here's a really fun thing. So, Jedi... Uh, are very weak to to bullets, basically. Um, it's it, is that is at a point where in the in the New Jedi Order books they faced the Verpine, which is an insectoid race. There's a lot of insect races in Star Wars, which is really weird because Disney seems to have just kind of thrown them all in the trash. Um, there's an insectoid race called the Verpine, and the Verpine really do not like Jedi. And also because of where they live, they can't really use blasters efficiently, so they use bullets. And so Luke's Jedi Order had to fight against Verpine, and so many Jedi just got straight up fucking murked, but just by a bullet going right through their fucking face. And it got to the point where Luke had to, like, go through the Jedi holocrons and, like, okay, what the fuck's going on? Shit, fuck, what's going on? Oh, Christ. And he just comes across the holocron, and the holocron's just like, hey, dumbass. It's a projectile. It has mass. Use the force, idiot. So he had to teach all the Jedi that when they're going against Verfine, throw away everything they know about fighting ranged weapons and forget fucking lightsabers, use the force to catch the bullets. Which you'd think would be the easiest thing for them to do. I mean, Darth Vader can do that with blasters. But here's the thing. Sith are taught that by default. That is by default a Sith thing that is taught. Because you know what's more terrifying than reflecting a blaster bolt into the ground? Catching it. 
and you know what the basis for Darth Vader catching blaster bolts is? It's the fucking technique that lets that, that lets Jedi and other Force users catch bullets in the Force. Like, <laughs> like it's the fucking best. Like so much of the new Jedi Order books is Luke going through and realizing, holy shit, we are fucking stupid. The Sith have been using the Force for so much better applications, and they're not even evil. Oh my god. Force choke is just applied force. Force choke is just applied force push. Oh my god, we're idiots. Like, holy shit. But, but yeah, like... Yeah, like, that. that's... If you ever wondered, like, it, like Darth Vader catching that blaster bolt. No, that is, that is straight up. That is a, that is a thing in...